Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of Digital Logic Design or Digital Electronics. Today we will study basic theorems and properties of the Boolean Algebra. The first important property of Boolean Algebra is known as Duality Principle and it says that every algebraic expression deducible from the postulates of Boolean Algebra remains valid if the operators and the identity elements are being interchanged. Or we can say that if we have an algebraic expression and we wish to find its dual then it can simply obtain by interchanging OR and AND operation and replacing ones by zeros and zeros by ones. In two-valued Boolean algebra, the identity element and the elements of the set B are same, 1 and 0. And the duality principle has many applications and is widely used in simplifying the Boolean expression. The table shows six theorems of Boolean algebra and four of its postulate. Or we can relate them, one side have addition operator or the other side have multiplication operator. Or we can say that both sides are dual of each other. The theorems and the postulate listed in last table shows the most basic relationships in Boolean algebra. The theorems like the postulate are listed in pair and each relation is the dual of one paired with it. The postulates are the basic axioms of the algebraic structure and no proof is required where the theorems must be proved using the postulate. And now we will start proving the theorem using the postulates. The first theorem has a statement that a Boolean variable x added with it itself give a value of x. In hardware realization, it will be a two input OR gate and its inputs are common. So in this case, output will be equal to input. Now using Boolean postulates, we know that x dot 1 is equal to x. Similarly, we can say that x plus x whole dot 1 will also be equal to x plus x. And then using the postulate which says that x plus x prime equals to 1 so we will replace 1 by x plus x prime then applying the distributive law we will have a relation of x plus x dot x prime we know that x dot x prime is equal to 0 so x plus 0 will give a value of x the statement of next theorem is that x dot x equals x in hardware realization, we will use a two input AND gate and both inputs are common. So output will be equal to input. And its proof using the Boolean postulates will be x dot x plus 0. We know that if x plus 0 is equal to x, then x dot x whole added with 0 will give a value of x dot x. And similarly, we know that x dot x is equal to 0, so we will replace a 0 by x dot x. Now again applying the distributive law, we will have an expression x dot x plus x prime, where x plus x prime is equal to 1, so we will have a relation x dot 1, where we know that x dot 1 is equal to x, hence our theorem is proved. The next theorem have a statement of x plus 1 is equal to 1. Starting with hardware based realization, we will have an OR gate whose input is connected to the VCC. This represents logic 1 and we know that if OR gate have an input of 1, its output will always be equal to 1. Now we will look into postulate based proof. We will take x plus 1 and will multiply it by 1. Now like previous, this one will be replaced by x plus x prime. So we will have x plus 1 product with x plus x prime. Using distributive law, we will have relation x plus 1 dot x prime. Where we know that if x dot 1 is equal to x, then x prime dot 1 will be equal to x prime. So we will have x plus x prime. And we know that x plus x prime is always equal to 1.
Now we will take another theorem which says that x dot 0 is equal to 0. In hardware realization we will have a 2 input AND gate and its 1 input is grounded. This ground represents logic 0. And if 1 input of AND gate is 0, its output is always 0. Now we will move to mathematical proof. We will take one side which says x dot 0 and will add a 0 because if x plus 0 is x then x dot 0 wholly added with 0 will gives x dot 0. And we know that x dot x prime is equal to 0 so we will replace 0 by x dot x prime. So we will have expression x dot 0 plus x dot x prime. Now we will apply distributive law and we will have a relation x dot 0 plus x prime. We know that x plus 0 is equal to x then x prime added with 0 will also be equal to x prime. So the expression will further reduce into x dot x prime and x dot x prime is always equal to 0. And now we will prove absorption theorem where first statement is x plus x dot y equals to x. Now consider statement x plus x dot y where x is multiplied by 1 because x dot 1 is always equals to 1. Now here distributive law is applied and we have a relation x dot 1 plus y and we know that 1 plus y is always equals to 1. So the reduced expression will be x dot 1 and x dot 1 is always equals to 1. So x plus x dot y is always equals to x. Now we will prove its dual part which says that x dot x plus y equals to x. Now consider x dot x plus y and add 0 to the x. So statement will be like x plus 0 dot x plus y. Now here again distributive law will be applied and the reduced expression will be x plus 0 dot y and we know that any variable multiplied by 0 gives a value of 0. So the reduced expression will be x plus 0 and x plus 0 is always equals to x. So both the statements of absorption theorems are proved. So far we have seen that a theorem can be verified using hardware based realization, using the boolean postulates and it can also be proved using the truth table. In truth table both sides of the relation are checked to see whether they give same result or not for all the possible combinations of the variables involved. We will start with absorption theorem which says that x plus x dot y equals to x. Now as an input we have two variable and have four possible combinations. Now we will check value of x dot y and will add this to the x. Now if you compare the value of x and x plus x dot y both are identical. Hence first statement of absorption theorem is proved using the truth table. Similarly, using the truth table, we can also prove the first statement of De Morgan's law, which says that x plus y whole prime will be equal to x prime dot y prime. In the given truth table, we have all the possible combinations of x and y, then we will add them, which gives x plus y, and then complement. And we will compare this with the result of x prime dot y prime. And here for all the possible combinations both results are identical so De Morgan's law is proved using the truth table. Now we will study operator precedence. The operator precedence for evaluating Boolean expression is first we will evaluate parenthesis then not or complement then AND operation and lastly OR operation. Or we can say that expression inside the parenthesis must be evaluated before all other operation. After parenthesis, the next operation that hold the precedence is of complement, which is followed by AND operation and the finally we have OR operation. Thanks for watching the video and stay connected for more interesting videos.